In this video, I'm going to show you the best and maybe the only good solo spot to farm random loot on the Teak or any other random loot server. And this is a great place. Um, there aren't a lot of choices in Kunark. If you have a server that's starting with Kunark open, this may be your only good option. Of course, there are places you can go in the classic era to get good loot and there will be other kind of places you can get loot but if you're a solo person like a druid this is is a place to be okay let me tell you real quick and i'm going to get right to the action so the first place that we want to point out is this is called galera island and galera island is located in timorous deep let me tell you how to get here and how a couple of the tricks of things you should do if you want to check out this spawn i believe this will be maybe the only good level 40 spawn out there uh, on the teak server and here's why okay first of all it's easy to get to you can get to it from the butcher block translocator so what i like to do when the server opens if you have a little spare time make a level one uh, dwarf and run him out there carefully run him out here and if you can see right here you have a clear path to swim right to the edge of the island right there and if you get on this island or you can get on the boat and jump off either way. And you get on this island at level one. You can pop up your level one character from time to time to see if this spawn, this spawn, and the other spawn, which is on the boat, which is over here, if these spawns are available. And these are the ones you're going to be going after because we're looking for Halra, uh, the, um, the ice monkey here. <laughs> what do you call this thing? Yeti. It's a Yeti. Okay, so Halra here is level 40. This thing has almost 4,000 hit points, and it hits like a truck. But for solo classes like Druids, Necromancers, no problem at all. And I think other classes can do it too, depending on the level. So let me tell you how else you can get here. If you are an evil class character, you can come in over here, and you can come in all the way up here. It's quite a ways up there. And if you can secor or get somebody to evacuate you, you can get down here. Otherwise, it's just a long stream. This box right here, you cannot swim through it. You will have to swim around this. I don't know why they put it that way. But on Bree Wall maps, it will show like that. You want to stay out of this area here because good old Fady Dar and all this stuff will rip your face right off. So anyway, let's talk about uh, the loot real quick. And then we'll come back and I'll talk about the spells you're going to need. Okay, so... There we go. Whoops. So here we go. So let's talk about this right now. What we have right here is at level 40, you notice there's only two mobs that are level 40 in Kunark that can drop random loot. And one is Zalgaz, who was in Kesora over there. And that's quite a big camp over there. But you will probably do that one too. But if you can't do that, you definitely can't solo that one because there's too many mobs in there. You can come out and do Holera right here. And at level 40, you're going to get a range like this. Let me draw it in for you. You're going to be able to cover level 42 to level 38. That means you get a chance to get Chief Rock Gus right here, his Essence of Dahl and all this other stuff. Uh, Zalgaza stuff will drop. Of course, Halra stuff will drop. You get a Ravishing Drovarg. Uh, you get this guy over here. And you get the Wraithbone Champion. Oh, there's one more. And you get Skeletal Warlord, which is nice. Um, because this guy's kind of low level for Karners right there. So you can get access to all these pieces of loot. And the only other way you're going to get this kind of loot, if you want to get the Skeletal Warlord, is go to Karners. I'll be doing a video on that. And uh, you'd have to go and get uh, down to Kesora. And none of these really can be soloed. The Dreadlands, okay, it's a little difficult. Down there, too difficult. Wraithbone Tramp Champion, kind of rare, I would say. But this place is the safest place to be. So this is really what you want right here until we can get up to a higher level and then in a higher level. So you can see right here, it is a dead zone. In a previous video, we went over KSOR level 35 and how it covered 33 to 37. And now we're going to cover this. Okay, let's go back to the next screen. Okay, and we're back right here. So once again, um, if you like this content, go ahead and uh, subscribe to it and notify because I will be putting up uh, tutorials, a lot of useful stuff for new players coming back to EverQuest, stuff that the real pro players might seem as kind of simple or unnecessary, but 
very essential to a new player out here. I'll be putting that out in these more of these guides. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this spawn position. As you can see here, if you have Rewall's map, there are three spawns, and I'm going to go over those three spawns right there. Here is one of them right here. This one is the one over there. What? Oh, there's another Hollera. Okay, so we got lucky today. So this is a rare occurrence. There's two Holleras here. And then there's one way back over here, which is that guy right there. The Hulk and Galra is the, um, the placehold. It is level 36. What I recommend is that if you're coming out here, know what your capabilities are, what spells you have, how much mana you have in the tank, especially if you're a druid. Because this uh, Galra has a lot of hit points, and these other yetis don't have that many hit points. So you may be able to smoke these yetis and kill them real fast, but then when you get to Hollera, it's going to be a different story. And Hollera is, as I remember, more magic resistance, but as a druid, you're going to be in good shape. Time to talk about the spells. Okay, first spell you're going to need is level one snare. The thing I like about snare is that look at how it costs almost no mana at this level. Second thing, about it is it lasts almost about four minutes here ignore the numbers in gold because that's what my focus effect does but four minutes practically that's forever for 15 seconds another spell you may have at 40 if you come out here at 40 which means you're going to have no problem with this at all is you're going to get drifting death and drifting death take a look at the amount of damage this thing does it can do um 185 per tick you do the math it lasts um, nine ticks, nine times six, 54. So nine times 185, that does quite a bit of damage. You probably need a couple casts of this. You probably will have enough mana easily or close to it that you can do that. You can snare this guy right here. You may not need harmony. I don't think you do because there's one Galra down here, this guy here that you have to separate, but I'll show you in distance what the difference is between he and the other guy. I think you can pull them separately. And if you come out close to 40, he will be green or something, and you could pull Hala the other way. But just in case, if you need it, um, Harmony, it works up to um, this level, no problem, level 40. So you can see Harmony will cover this too. Uh, you probably will not get experience on these other little guys out here because they are level 26. But if you do come out here as a group or with a, a duo or something like that, you might get green experience from them, which is small experience. It'll give you something to do. But I would just focus on these guys right here. Okay, so the next thing you want to know is where to sit out here. I recommend a good place is right here on this little hilltop because from here you can see this one, this spawn position. You can see this one. And, of course, the other one you can't see out there. But as long as you see these and you have a clear angle to go backwards a little way to just check if Hollera is over there, that will benefit you a lot. Now keep in mind, there will be other people camped out around here. They will camp on this island too because they want that level 40s Kunark gear, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and kill Galra and I'm gonna show you how to uh, do this. And I'm gonna start from the back right here. First, let me do something here. I wanna show you the distance between these. Let me see. Let's go like this. Okay, so we're like this, directly between them. The distance, if you look on the right here, upper right, it says 340, right? 275. So that's 40 plus 25. That's 65 difference. So you can see there that if you pull Hollera the other way out there, you're going to be all good. But let's go ahead and, and wipe these guys out. And I'll show you how this is done. Okay, so from here, it's just... Let me, let me keep the map up so you can see. This is the MQ2 map, so you can see exactly where it's going on. All these spawns are static. You don't have to worry about it. And then this guy, you need to be about 200 away from him. Let's just wipe him out. And I want to point out one good thing about this place is you can see I've been killing this guy a lot. And in the end, I will tell you what his spawn percentage is and how many times I had to, to uh, kill these guys and how long I was here before I got Holler up. Uh, chunk of Ice sells for one... Uh, gold piece. Okay, so those will sell. You will get these kind of like Velium embossed type of junk like this. You will get these runes, one platinum it sells for. Sometimes you get these words of duress, they sell for some money. So there are things here that will sell for money out here. Look at this one, more five gold piece, whatever. 
And since this is on the test server, I got I got too defiant uh, before I even got Halra. Okay, so that one is done. Next thing you want to do is let's go like this. Let's what, keep an eye on the map. I'll go back to here. And let's see, you can see where the map is. And it's important to kind of make sure you kind of know your way around. So you go like this. And you want to go this way. Stay between the Gal Galra. And that. He will aggro on you. They're, they're vicious little uh, monkeys. And then let's go. And we're going to take him from here. This is the way you want to do it. And you go right from the back right here. Let's, let's check his distance. His the distance is 130, 124. It seems like it would be closer because he's a big monkey. But it's actually a lot further than you can imagine. So here is how it's going to work. We're going to set him off with a snare. Now he should snare. Okay. And then we're going to go and let's hit him with Drifting Death. Okay. He's got Happy Drifting Death. Okay. Come to us. We'll see what it takes. I mean, this is going to tick a lot because, um, wow. Okay, here we go. He's almost dead. I'm hitting for 1,100 on Drifting Death. And that's wouldn't be what you would get. And what did he drop here? He, he dropped a chunk of ice, or she dropped a chunk of ice, whatever it is. Okay, so let me talk about a little bit on why these spells are good to use. The reason why you want to use Drifting Death, if you have it, uh, is because it has a negative 100 magic resist. Oh, wow, the boat just came by. Negative 100 magic resist, meaning it's going to land. It's going to hit them like a truck. Okay, now you've seen that. If you are not that level, and then you have to use something like um, Drones of Doom. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit harder. Once again, it has a nice magic resist. But you can see it hits uh, a lot less. And it will take you longer to do it. But with snare, you, as long as you snare, you can see you can kite holler around right here. So this next one I would pull to that way. Okay, so we're going to pull that one. And visit his little ice monkey house. Okay, you can't see him, so you got to be careful. Him or her, whatever it is. And where's that goofy holler? Okay, you got to be careful because you have other vicious monkey over there. So as a druid or an acro, you want to have levitate. Okay, there you go. Okay, time for you to get it. There we go. Okay, we're going to snare him. Okay. Okay, put the sauce on him. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. Necromancer Enchanter can do the same deal here. And of course, we're using Drones of Doom. Look at that. Okay. Well, this is actually because I got I'm high level and it's just blowing him out of the water. Okay, there we go. First piece of loot. It's the uh, good old gray fur cape right here, and it doesn't look like a big deal, but like I said, you get access to a whole bunch of other loot out here. Now let's talk a little bit about how many times I had to kill this this crazy monkey. Okay, get ready for this, guys. I had to kill this placeholder uh the cycle meaning killing all these spawn points here i had to do it get ready for it 20 times so that means i went about 60 times on here and the last cycle that i cleared off i didn't realize it but it spawned two holleras so what that means is that it works like this this is one of the things where if you can clear off these three spawn cycles really fast when it does respawn if the rng uh, number thingy algorithm on the EverQuest server says time to spawn Halra, <clears throat> you have a really good chance of getting two Halras. But if you're a person that kills one Halra and then you wait like 10 minutes and kill another one, you may not get that chance of seeing two Halras right there. But that was a big surprise for me. So try to kill the Halras really fast like this. And then leave the other monkeys alone. Just keep killing this Halra right here. If you're a low-level group, you can get to a level where you can kill off these little Galras right here and get green experience. And then you can team up and you can take down Halra. It will be hard, but with your group, it'll be quite good. So you can work this whole area right there. Okay, guys. So this is for the solo player. If you're high enough level, you can solo him. Druid. Um, I would say Necromancer, Enchanter, you can, it's going to be difficult. You can charm one of these guys and fear kite him. 
or something because you can debuff his magic. So Enchanter can do it. I don't know about other classes. If you're a wizard, you can snare him, obviously, and you can do it. And uh, you just have to see how much uh, you can damage you can do and whether your fire spells are powerful enough to take him down enough. But keep in mind, this character here is um, level 115, so it has so many focus effects that, look at it, does like 1,100 damage, which is ridiculous. It's ten time, almost 10 times or nine times as much as this right here of drones. Therefore, this is not an accurate representation of what's going to happen. So you can see right here, this guy has over 3,000 hit points on him. Anyway, hope you guys have fun with this. Uh, this is the spot um, that I can think of, level 40. And that's about it. Stay tuned for more videos coming up and hope to see all of you on the Teak server. It's going to be wild.